Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tisa. I wanted to come on here and talk about this crazy-ass situation that's once again happened in our first favorite state, wretched-ass Florida. Yes, I know I feel like it's been a while since I said that, and I know it's been a while since I posted on this channel. I know people have been asking, but I haven't really been posting on this channel just because I've been sticking more to just lighthearted news topics, more celebrity news, because, you know, real news can be very draining, and I've been, like, real emotional and going through a lot lately. And I just didn't want to deal with, like, too much, you know, bad and horrible news. So that's why I haven't posted as much on this channel. But I'm back posting on here again. I wanted to talk about this story. A lot of people sent this to me. So in case you haven't heard, there's a situation that went down at a Florida Walmart. And what happened is that there's a 64-year-old man. His name is Kenneth Wisham. And he had stolen nearly $400 worth of DVDs from a Lakeland store. And this happened back in February. And the last prevention team, it was three of them, they went to chase him down. And um, I guess he was running and his pants fell down and he ended up falling. And they chased him down. They pinned him to the ground. And while they were holding him, waiting for the police to come, um, they noticed that he had stopped breathing. They tried to perform, you know, CPR on him, but to no avail. The man was eventually rushed to an area hospital where he later died. And so now the autopsy has come out. And they are charging these three loss prevention workers with murder. Um, they're saying that not only did he die of mechanical asphyxiation, but that he had 15 broken ribs. So this entire situation is causing a lot of controversy down there in Florida. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Two Walmart employees are charged with manslaughter over an incident that happened at the store, but attorneys claim they were just doing their jobs. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski joins us now live from the Walmart where they used to work. So Chip, this is involving a shoplifting incident, right? Well, you're absolutely right, Josh. And the employees, the three employees, chased that shop, shoplifter, 64-year-old Kenneth Wisham, into the parking lot here after discovering he'd stolen hundreds of dollars in DVDs. Now he is dead, and they are facing manslaughter charges. Police tell us Nathan Higgins, Crucellus Nunez, and Randall Tomko chased 64-year-old Kenneth Wisham out of the store in February and held him down until police arrived. He died in the parking lot of the store. Another employee called 911. Uh, somebody was stealing from the store and we chased them down and we had him on the ground. We weren't putting like too much force on him, but he doesn't have a pulse now. Okay, and are you with the patient now? Yeah. Okay, and is he awake? He has his eyes closed. Is he breathing? He's not breathing either. Detectives telling us the employees may have gone too far. He died of uh, with 15 broken ribs and the uh, mechanical uh, asphyxia, which he was unable to breathe due to the, uh, the weight, them on his back, holding him down. An attorney for Higgins argued his client and the others were simply doing their jobs. The merchant has the right to apprehend and take into custody a shoplifter and detain that person for a reasonable period of time until law enforcement arrives. And that's exactly what my client did. But opinions vary. Outside the Walmart where the incident happened, some shoppers aren't so sure. I feel like they got what they deserved. Um, I know they didn't mean to, but someone dying over some items, some material things, it's horrible. And Walmart did issue a statement saying, in part, our hearts go out to everyone affected by these events. The status of the associates involved continues to be reviewed. We will continue working with law enforcement officials as we have from the beginning. Josh. Chip, what is the status of these employees or former employees at this point? Well, their status legally, the judge set bond for all three of them. Two the attorneys for two of them argued that they didn't have any prior criminal any prior criminal history before this event. Okay, Chip Osowski, live for us in Lakeland. Chip, thanks. All right, so you guys just watched the news clip. And while I am kind of torn on this story, 
you know, granted he was stealing, but in that same breath, did somebody deserve to lose their life for stealing? You know, it's one thing to pin him down, but I'm very curious as to how this man got 15 broken ribs. That's a lot of broken ribs, so to me, I feel like they had to have done more than just held him down. You know, you don't necessarily break a rib just from falling, let alone 15 ribs, and I feel like maybe he was trying to fight them off of him, and at that point in time, they started beating him up, kicking him, and everything else. You know, so the whole situation is crazy. It's going to definitely be interesting to see if they end up being charged with murder. A lot of people are saying, you know what, he's a thief. You know, who gives a damn? He shouldn't have been stealing. You know, he chose to steal. This is one of the consequences. I mean, that's fine and good and everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I don't think that shoplifting should equate death. You know, we're not in the Middle East where, you know, if you get caught stealing, they cut off your left hand. You know, this is America, so I can't say that just because somebody was stealing, you know, a, a DVD or $400 worth of DVDs that they deserve to die. But I will say this, at least he died doing what he loved, okay? <laughs> I know, bad joke. Anyhow. Now, you know, the thing that also bothers me with this story is that it's funny how they're so quick to grab these three people and automatically charge them with manslaughter and granted they're going to go to trial. What I found crazy about this situation is that Freddie Gray went through almost the same thing. Um, his death was ruled a homicide. He had numerous broken ribs, but yet and still no one is being held accountable for his murder. Okay. So it seems to me that as long as you have on a badge, you're allowed to beat and murder people with impunity and you don't get charged. But if you're a regular citizen who's doing their job, just like the police are doing their job, they can be charged with manslaughter. Hmm, now isn't that quite ironic, okay? But I digress, this is not about Freddie Gray, this is about Kenneth Wisham. But you know, I just had to point out those two similarities in the case because Kenneth Wisham had a bunch of broken ribs and his peoples are being charged. Freddie Gray had a bunch of broken ribs, but yet and still all those police officers got let go. <laughs> Funny, huh? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you feel like these loss prevention officers were just doing their job and they should be let go? Or do you feel like, you know what, they killed somebody for basically stealing DVDs and they should not be let go? Murder is murder. And how do you feel about the fact that these people are being charged with murder, but all the police officers who were initially charged in the Freddie Gray situation have all been let go? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.